As I sit and stare between these bars and think about my life and the many mistakes I've made. I just hope that he hears this as I ask him for forgiveness all those lonely nights that I lay and I prayed. Is there reason for this confinement? Is my life the price that I must pay? See, I want to atone for my sins, but I don't know where to begin. Tell me, is there anything that I can do or I can say? See, I don't understand, man. I love this girl. She was like my sister, my boy, my best friend. The closest thing to me, I felt love but never judged. But I just got to tell you how the story all begins. Now, there was a spiritual connection. Although I must admit I had feelings, but since she was involved, I just couldn't find the nerve. But this guy, he mistreated her, and, and at times he would beat on her, but to me she was a queen, and he could never give her what she deserved. I felt all of our hurt and pain, but there was only one man to blame, because it was his hands, his knuckles, and his fist. Or was it a two-way street? But my girl was so sweet I had to ask her, baby, why you, why you staying put up with this? See, the reality was she was afraid to leave, and there were questions in my mind. Do you really want to go? You know how y'all feel obligated to stay although your feelings have gone away? But it's one thing he should know you reap what you sow. Now while he was doing all of his lines, she was calling me crying, asking me what I thought it was that she should do. But there were some things she had to see that Black Ice wouldn't be able to show her besides the answer to these questions she already knew. See, her only choices were the ones that she would choose, and I just couldn't bear to see her face bruised. An abused friend, man, I refused to lose. And just to think of her neglected. And all the times that this man disrespected, my help rejected. But baby, I can't protect you if you don't want to be protected. Tell me, what is it going to take for you to remove the veil from in front of your face and see that when he was locked up, this was the only time that you had a feeling of until you met me and I gave you inspiration to breathe again and the faith to resist. Told you to pray for the strength to walk away because I just couldn't keep seeing you going through this. And not one day had passed before another call came. Now everybody's involved, including her mama. I called her up and I told her, listen baby, I'm on my way over, but now when I come, you know it's gonna be some drama. And now I'm pacing the floor before I walk off this door because this time she told me that he cut her. Now look, I'm trying not to snap, but I got to come strapped. Although my intentions were just to talk to this brother. And that's when tempers started to flare as he wondered why I was there getting involved in their affair. But instead of talking man to man, I noticed something in his hand that gave off a glare. And that's when she got in between us. And yelled at both of us that we both need to stop it. But before I knew it, man, he just blew it with his blood on it. He just... Pulled a knife up out his pocket. And now I'm grabbing his wrist while I'm hitting it with my fist, trying not to let go. I'm holding his wrist tight. Meanwhile, I'm thinking to myself, wishing it was somebody else because now this food and just brought a knife to a gunfight. I want to back him up off me, but this move will prove costly because there's a thin line between being sane and insane. I pulled it out, and what happened next? Damn. One round went off in his chest. And just this one moment in time, my whole life changed. And now I'm cuffed up and roughed up all because I tried to help out a friend. Wondering, when will this nightmare end? But cop cars and steel bars has a way of allowing reality to set in. See, confinement is more than just a physical thing. There's more than one way that you can be confined. See, my girl, she was locked into a world. In her confinement, it was the state of her mind. That's that piece.